Okay, uh, we're in Hazel Township, and we're at the, I guess, an intersection of Hillside Drive and uh, Lewis Scheibel Boulevard. And I'm here today about the stop sign. Because in uh, October 1st, 2012, it was at nighttime, I got uh, pulled over. The state claimed that I didn't stop at the stop sign, I didn't even slow down. But at that time, uh, this stop sign wasn't even with the white line. This stop sign was uh, up against this pole. So during the conversation I had with the statey, he said that he pulled over several other people that night that failed to stop for the stop sign. So that got me uh, curious. So I turned around and I looked at the stop sign kind of like I'm looking at it now, back when it was up against the pole. And I said, something's wrong. So the next day I went to the township office inquired about the ordinance that authorized the placement because you have three uh, stop signs. I don't know if you can see them, there's one, two, and there's an, uh, another one over there. Anyway, I found out that uh, when they put this Lewis Scheibel Drive or Boulevard, uh, when they connected it to this, uh, they made a Y intersection, that the township forgot to pass an ordinance authorizing placement. And I went to the, uh, to the hearing, and I was found guilty. And then uh, a day after the hearing, there was a township meeting, and that's when uh, Pedri, the solicitor, admitted in an open forum that the township uh, made a mistake and there was no ordinance of record authorizing the placement of these signs. And these signs were up for, for about six years. And all that time, the, uh, the state police were issuing citations for people stop, for the stop sign. Then in uh, January of uh, 2013, that's when the uh, township passed like a retroactive ordinance authorizing the place, placement. They also moved the sign from the pole and put it where it is now. Uh, Andy Mahalshik from uh, WBRE, he did a story at this very spot and the story was titled Opening Pandora's Box. And when it first aired later on that day, it was about six minutes long. And Mr. Mahalshik, he was fluffed with his feathers. He was going to get into this because this was going to open up a big can of worms. And then all of a sudden, the story was dropped and the video was deleted from their website. No more was heard about it. Now, in part two of this uh, video, I'm going to explain what happened at the magistrate, uh, magistrate's office, including what happened at the courthouse. But I consider this my community service that I had the sign moved and then they passed an ordinance because this is a bus route. I mean, this sign episode cost me about $2,000. Now, I, have, I, I didn't have any complaints with the state that pulled me over because he was polite and courteous. But you'd think that if he's going to be parked over there along that wall, hiding in the bushes, trying to nail people for going through the stop sign. And if he's pulling so many, if, if, if this is a consistent problem, they're pulling so many people over, you'd think he would investigate to see if these signs were placed properly. Well, it's my opinion is, is that they're just interested in the money. And this is why I went to a township meeting about a month ago. And you see on the back side of a sign, I want to have two stickers put on each sign. One that would authorize the placement. One sticker would link the, uh, the sign to the ordinance that authorized the placement and another would, would an expiration date. Because the signs that over time, they do fade out and they lose the reflective qualities. So after every three or five years, if the sign is uh, inspected and it still looks good, then they could put a new inspection sticker on it. It's like a car. But to me, every stop sign has to have an ordinance, a sticker on the back, 
giving uh, evidence of the ordinance to authorize placement. I mean, the police should not be here on a stakeout just to make money. I mean, if, if, to be safety is always a secondary issue. Like I said, tomorrow, uh, the second part of this uh, video is going to talk about what happened at the magistrate's office and at the courthouse.